Good day learners, this is Is Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to talk about the life cycle of a bird. Have you ever wondered what it's like to fly high and free in the sky, like a bird? It must be very nice, right? But if you want, let's fill in the shoe of a bird and see what it is like in the life of birds. Well, first there are lots of kinds of birds that are in the wild. In fact, there are about 9,000 to 10,000 species of the birds on the planet. But no matter what kinds of birds they are, they are cousins in some ways. These avian cousins share one thing in common, the bird life stages. There's one question that has been bugging lots of people from long ago. What comes first, the chicken or the egg? It might be the chicken because then who will lay the egg? But then chickens always hatch from eggs. Confusing, right? But for now, let's start with the little ones, the eggs. Everything starts with reproduction by the male and female bird. After the mate, eggs are laid by female birds. Birds like condors just lay a single egg while other birds like the chickens lay a lot. The great partridge sometimes lays up to 17 eggs. After all eggs are laid, they are protected and provided warm or incubated by the mother. But sometimes both parents do it, like the whooping crane who takes turns. Fun fact learners, did you know that the biggest egg laid are from the ostriches? Well you might have already guessed it since ostriches are the biggest birds. They measure up to 6 inches or 15 centimeters in diameter and can weigh up to 3 pounds or 1.3 kilograms. You might even use two hands in carrying those eggs. Now have you opened up an egg? We only see the egg yolk and the white though. But there's a small cell inside called the embryo that grows to become a chick. A small air sac will be developed inside to provide oxygen for the chick. The white actually contains the calcium to develop bones and other organs. The egg yolk provides the protein and food for the chick inside when it grows enough, parts like head, beak, and stomach. When it is time to hatch, they position themselves and start cracking the egg. Some chicks may have to work for hours or even days to break through the shell of its egg. Most birds have a small bump near the tip of their beak called an egg tooth to help them hatch. Next is the hatchling. A hatchling is a bird that has just hatched from an egg. Some of them are just naked to the skin like us. They're basically blind since their eyes aren't open. They can't move around much and they need their parents to feed them inside the nest. Most small birds just feel when their mother is present and just open their mouths hoping for a yummy worm from their mommy birds. But there are some birds like the precocial birds or the chickens, ducks and owls that are already capable of taking themselves when they are born. Things like feeding themselves and they can leave the nest soon after. Next is the nestling. They are chicks that are a few days old and have grown very small and soft feathers like straight cottons. They are there to protect them from the cold like afar. They can't fly at this stage. Next is the fledglings. They are chicks that have grown flat feathers and wing muscles. They are curious and playful and they are starting to explore outside the nest but will still be under the care of their parents. They are practicing to fly in small distances like a single hop or so. A lot of birds learn to fly in a short time but others are slow. Like the great frigate bird. It takes 6 months before the chick hatches and their parents feed them for a further 14 months. Next is the juvenile. It's like being a teenager for us. Some juvenile birds will leave the nest and live on their own. They may already look like adult birds, although they may be duller with less defined markings. Next is the subadult. They are young birds that are older than juveniles, but they are not capable of mating with others yet. Different birds have different time needed to mature. For example, the house sparrows will become sexually mature in just a few months. 
On the other hand, larger birds such as golden eagles cannot reproduce or they are not sexually mature until they are 4 or 5 years old. And lastly, the adult. Like us, birds also become adults. They are sexually mature and they can now mate with one another. What they look like depends on what season it is. Most birds shine and glow. They look like this during mating season. Or they may look their best in this time to attract the female. Males are always more noticeable in the wild for their appearances. In birds like peacocks, males have these long and colorful feathers to impress the females. And when the female gives consent, they will mate and produce eggs. And this restarts the life cycle of the birds. However, some birds are already on the brink of extinction because of what other humans did to them like hunting for their uniqueness. Let's help preserve the lives of endangered animals as they will be lost forever if they become extinct. So learners, birds are always free when they fly. Some birds just walk like us, but no matter how they look, they are beautiful in their own ways. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Easy Engineering.